Hello, hello there, my crafty friends, and good morning to you. This is day four of my daily Facebook Lives to celebrate the new mini catalog. And I am on Monday through Friday this week at 11. I will not be on at 7 o'clock tonight, which is my usual time slot, because I'm here today at 11, and I have been all week. This is going to be a quick but fun card that I'm going to make with you, and I'm kind of stamping on the fly. I've got kids and grandkids coming today, and they are on their way. So we are celebrating my youngest grandson's first birthday, and we are, I've got scones ready to go in the oven. You know, um, my youngest son, Alex, they just moved back from the UK in October, and all three of the grandkids were born there, they're used to having scones kind of everywhere they go. And of course, that's just not the case here. So I thought, well, for Dex's birthday, he's just turned one. Um, and the big kids that are five and three, they're all missing their scones. So I thought, well, grandma's gonna make scones for them. So they are ready to go. So welcome, welcome. I'm glad I've got a couple of people here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get going. I hope you guys have had a good time with me this week. Welcome, Margaret and Corinne. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I appreciate that. Now, I'm going to be featuring Everyday Details today. It is the featured stamp set for my card class, uh, Card Club, which is a class by mail, and I do it every month. I do eight cards, and this month I'm featuring Everyday Details uh, hey, Tasha, I'm glad you're here. This is a fun fold. I always do one fun fold. And I do two each of four designs with a variation or what I like to call a twist with each one. I'm also using the Forever Love Designer Series paper and my um, my club members or customers, whoever, you know, if you want to take the class singly, you can. Um, they get a half a pack of this gorgeous Forever Love paper. Love, love, love this paper. So these are my February card club featuring everyday details. So I wanted to kind of show off for you today. Uh, hey, Marlene and Tasha, Corinne, very good. Oh, Corinne, you've never made scones. Well, we could, we could talk scones. We could share scones. I'll take pictures and maybe even share a recipe. Okay, Everyday Details is a very cool bundle. It's kind of interesting because this is a standalone stamp set. So although there's dies, they don't cut any of this out. So you could get just the stamp set, and it's very, very pretty. I think it's $24. Hi, Mary. Uh, there are also dies, and the dies are also standalone. But Stampin' Up! has given us the great off offer of purchasing these together in a bundle format, which means we get 10% off. So you can see how, I mean, these you could do all kinds of fun things with. Uh, these are going to give you texture, really cool label dies, and then these are super fun. So I wanted to do a card with you this morning that's going to kind of showcase this double circle because I think it's pretty unique. Now, let me refer back. Um... Let's see, it's this one here. It's the one that fits the teacup very nicely. So I'm going to do this, but I'm going to use the double circle, and I'll show you what I mean. Now, I'm using this designer series paper going in a very different direction from my club cards. This is Sunny Days. This is one of the 12 by 12 packs that is free with celebration and really fun patterns because, of course, you can do all kinds of scenes. Uh, with the clouds, beautiful poppy parade here. This is the pattern I'm using today. I do love, love, love this piece here. And the little sweet little rainbows, really nice strawberries, um, butterflies. And then this is my other favorite piece. Love those flowers. And then some little sun, um, little sun, whatever you call them, little half suns, sunrises. And then this fun piece of cherries um, and a really good background. So this is free with a $50 order. So you could get, uh, I think the bundle, I want to say it's like $46.75. So if you added a, an adhesive, you'd be at $50 and be able to get this paper for free. Okay. 
So I'm going to pull in my all-time favorite Stampin' Up! color, and that is Petal Pink. I have a an 11 by four and a quarter piece, and I have scored it at five and a half. Just, I like to score it ahead of time. I think it makes for easy card making and makes it uh, super quick. Now, this is that background piece of um, Petal Pink, and I really, really like it. So I'm going to use that as my background, and I'm going to stamp my greeting directly on it. We'll see how that goes, because I haven't tried any of this yet. This is all just a card that's in my head. We'll see how it goes. I think it's going to go okay. We'll see. And now I'm going to show you, this is what happens when you use this double circle die. So in my club cards, I took this part out and left this part behind and didn't use that. Today, I'm going to use both pieces and we'll see how we get on with it. I think I'm gonna really like the look. In my head, it looks good. Now, there's also this really fun little stamp, and I'm gonna just do a little action here. We'll see, again, we'll see how it goes. You know, I should probably try it on the back first. Although you could flip this around, you know, there's a little difference on the front and back of our die cuts, and let's just see. This is kind of in my head. I'm thinking I like that. Hmm. Let's see, it's kind of a random. Oh, if I do it as a random, then I like it. Okay, so don't try to line it up. I'm just gonna kind of go like this and let it frame. You could just do these kind of like all over everywhere and truly random, but I'm gonna kind of do a little pattern here and emphasize my four corners without having to put like a mat behind there. So just a really sweet little stamp there. Now I am going to stamp my white circle here and I'm going to use my Memento ink. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous teacup stamp. I'm a huge, huge lover of all things tea. I have a quite a, a fairly extensive collection of teacups. Um, and I like to do, I like to do tea, high tea when I, um, when I entertain, it's my favorite way. And that's actually what we're doing today. So we're doing a little high tea for the kids. Um, so we've got little sandwiches and we have scones and all kinds of fun things. Hey, Kristen, I'm so glad you're here with me. Got a couple of my ladies from church here, a couple of team members here, a couple of stamping friends from across the, uh, across the U.S. here. So this is what I'm thinking we're going to do. Now, I do like to let that black I really like to let that dry before I start coloring, particularly because I'm using some lighter colors. And if this black, it technically dries immediately. In my experience, especially since I just re-inked the pad, sometimes it takes a few minutes. And so I don't want to smear. So what I'm going to do instead, I've already stuck this down. We're going to see how this goes. This is a celebration stamp set. And did I bring it out? I think I did. Heartfelt hellos. Um, yeah, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. So this is another option you can get free with a $50 order. And it is a great, great deal. I mean, you've got a couple of your, um, you know, spring holidays. You've got this you could use for a birthday or just a, just a thinking of you, Dad. I love this love you more. A great help. Yeah, these are awesome. So, and I really like the fonts. They're kind of fun and they're kind of, uh, they're casual, um, but they're really cute. So let's ink up the hello and we are going to just go for it. I've already stuck this down. So if I mess up, well, <laughs> we will hope that I don't do that. Oh, Kristen, I'm glad you like, I think the artwork on this teacup is really lovely. Oh yeah. That is just right, you know, because then as I pull this in, I think that's going to look really, really sweet. And you can see where the dies are really fun. You could do all kinds of things with these dies. Thank you for sharing my video, Kristen. I appreciate that. So let's do a little bit of coloring on this. Now, full disclosure here, I'm going to use a little touch of this Stampin' Write marker in... Um, 
Calypso Coral because my Calypso Coral markers died at my recent uh, demonstrator event and they're ordered, but they're not here yet. So I'm going to bring in, this is light old olive and I'm bringing this in for my leaves because I just, I wanted something soft, but soft sea foam was a little too light, I thought. Now I think, let's see, I think I'm going to do the teacup in uh, petal pink. Let's see if this is light enough. Oh yeah. Let's see, this is, I've ordered a new one here too. This is a little bit, um, a little bit, sometimes one tip of your uh, blends will kind of run out or get kind of funky on you before the other one. And so um, you kind of just flip to the other side. And I'm just filling this in very easily with my Petal Pink Blends. Now, this is where I'd really like some Calypso Coral, and I don't dare. Well, I could try a little pumpkin pie. Let me grab a little pumpkin pie, see what we can get going on some action there. And I also have some of my blends are already packed up. I have my in-person card class here in San Antonio on Saturday. So we already have bins packed up. Oh yeah, boy, that's almost light pumpkin pie. Boy, that's almost the same as, oh yeah. But see, that's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting a little bit of a darker to just give a little bit of shadow there and really highlight those lines. I like that. I'm not even gonna blend over it because I think that looks pretty good. Now let me come back in over the rim of my teacup, right like so. And yeah, I can hear that is running out on me. Oop, I missed a little bit of my teacup here. And then I am going to add, again, my blends are packed. So I'm using crumb cake and I'm just going to do a little bit of, so it looks like either there's tea or coffee in there. In my mind, it's and then I am going to bring in my dark lemon lolly for this lovely flower. Just a little pop of yellow. And, you know, I've got a lot of, let me bring this over here so you can see where I'm going. See, I have a lot of peach and orange, and so I need a little bit of contrast here. And that's where this yellow is going to come in. I actually have another idea for this yellow. We'll see if I can locate the idea. <laughs> I was kind of gathering supplies and looking at the clock and thinking, okay, when are the grandkids getting here? I need to hurry here. Now, the other thing I like to do on something like this, to me, that teacup is just kind of hanging out in outer space. So I like to just put a little bit of shadow under here. And I think it just kind of helps to either shadow or maybe that's a little piece of tablecloth it's sitting on. In, in my mind, that's good. Yeah, the yellow is happy. It just kind of brings, see how it kind of brings everything together? So the other thing I was thinking to use, oh, it's over here. Let's see. Just to kind of tie in the, um, the lemon lolly, I thought I might use this lemon lolly ribbon. Yes or no? I think that's kind of a nice touch. So let's go ahead and stick, I'm going to stick this down and pop this up on dimensionals. I think that's going to be kind of a fun look. And this is, again, why you want these dies. And to me, the dies are really cool. So is the stamp set. So why not just buy them together and, you know, save the 10%. And then add one little thing to your order and then you get something for free. Now, what I want to do is I want to pop this up on dimensionals. So, and see how that peeks out from behind there and brings in that petal pink. I'm digging it. Where did my dimensionals go? Let's see. Um, those are black ones. Well, this is what's handy. So this is what I'm using. My, these are from a uh, paper pumpkin kit. And I did locate, I couldn't find a pair of snips to save my life yesterday. <laughs> I located, they were all in little boxes I take with me for my local events. I packed them all away. 
you know, I do local events here. I do a, a monthly card class, Saturday card class, and then usually the last Saturday of the month. And then I also do a couple of kit events. And um, so for those, we do one of them at a tea room, and we do one of them at a coffee and wine bar. And they're just a great way to relax with friends, make some cute projects. Oh, next. yeah, Nancy, you're imagining, of course you're imagining it with the blues. <laughs> Nancy is my blues girl. That would be a fun remake of this because there are some blues in this set of designer series paper. So that would be kind of fun. And see, I am an orange girl. I love, love, love oranges. Okay, now we're going to add, we're going to dress this up just a wee bit. So let's take this lemon lolly ribbon that has just a little bit of... Um, silver edging just to give it a little I mean honestly this right here would be a great card but we're gonna dress it up just a little bit because that's what we do we like dressing things up and I am going to go right along here like so now this is a fairly sheer ribbon so if I bring it up here you can see the uh, calypso through there if I bring it down here I think I like that better, although it's kind of hitting that hello. I should have put the hello just a wee bit farther down. Yeah, I'm going to kind of go halfway, and I think it's going to be fine. Let me bring this over here just a little bit. We're just going to do a little simple square knot. And again, this is the featured bundle for my monthly card club. Now, my monthly card club... We do eight cards each month, and the card club is great because it's a subscription, which means it's the easy button. You don't have to think about it. It's You're already registered. And I send you an email out to, to remind you about it. You can unsubscribe at any time, but you also get a great deal uh, because I do give extra good pricing to my club members. And then if you want to uh, just do a single month and pay a little bit more, you can do that too. I do like that little bit of shine on there, and I think because we're bringing in that little touch of silver, I do also think, you know, Lemon Lolly is a very cool yellow. These are really warm colors, and a little pop of cool uh, keeps you from getting bogged down. I find that I like to mix cool and warm because I think oftentimes you get too much of one or the other. Now, I'm going to put one of these right in the center and I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I think just that one little, um, that one little rhinestone is going to be enough. So there we go. Quick, easy, showing off these lovely dies, and bringing in a different font entirely from what is in the actual stamp set. So let me just review again. Here's, here's my teacup cards. So here's the font that's in the actual stamp set. So you see how you can get really different looks with this. Um, where's my darker one? I do give you envelopes with my card club and you also get, um, you get a couple yards of this ribbon, you're gonna get the gems, you get all the pre-cut uh, uh, card kit. So in my card club and the way I send all of my classes by mail out, I actually do the die cutting for you. Um, I know some people don't uh, if it's if it's a part of the featured bundle, but I do. I want you to be able to just, number one, try these things out before you buy them. And number two, well, to decide if you want to buy them, add them to your collection. Number two, I want you to be able to just sit down with your kit and go for it and just enjoy. So yeah, different looks. Uh, with the same, but I think this shows how this is such a versatile image. I think Everyday Details is a great name for this because the images are great for just everyday things. The bird's nest is so pretty. It can go in so many different directions, and I, I love bird's nests. I love other thing, everything about birds. This is a great, I mean, you can do a lot of different um, things with this uh, vase of flowers, and um, so here, I did it, you know, really capitalizing on the pinks, the deeper pinks and the lighter pinks. But then when I did these cards, where are they? Here we go. The rest of my club cards here. So, yeah, you can see where, well, before I do that. So here I went with all the neutrals. And what I did was I used just the top 
bit here so that you have a spray of flowers in addition to the vase. Hey, Lisa, I'm glad you're here. So here I've just used it as a spray of flowers with a lot of neutrals. And there's your blues, Nancy, bringing in the blues. And then here, going back into that moody mauve. But this, I really loved these. I love the way these came out. I love the, the eggs here, kind of robin eggs they look like, uh, maybe. Um, yes, this, you're right, Corinne. This is going to be a great image to go with the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. And that would also bring in a lot of the blues. And here I actually stamped directly on the petal pink, so you get a much deeper, uh, you get a much deeper look. But I like it kind of; it's almost a little bit smoky. And then just pairing that with a totally different uh, greeting, so that you have a bold look. Where here it's very soft and feminine, and here it's still very feminine, but a bit on the bold side and a little bit more of a modern look with that font. So that is it for today. I do still have this host code running. I've, I've decided to run it all the way through this month. So if you're looking to purchase this, uh, you want to use my VAX 9X, I, I call it SHIP, but it's SHP, um, host code, and you will get free gifts on top of what Stampin' Up! gives you. And that what I mean is if you place a $50 order right now, you'll get something for free with Stampin' Up. You have a number of items. You get this stamp set, you get this paper, or a host of other items for free. And then I will send you some tutorials and a little gift as well. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is day four of my uh daily Facebook Lives this week. Tomorrow is my last one. Uh, reminder, I will not be here tonight at my regular time for 7 because I came to you and said at 11. And uh, if you are watching the replay on YouTube, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching here on Facebook, I love hearts. Um, thumbs ups are great as well. And subscribe to my page, like my page, and make sure you hit uh, that you want to be notified because that way when my Facebook Lives are coming up or my other posts, you'll get notification. Because I do post in between. So like I'll share some photos of, the, um, of my scones today, maybe a couple of grandkids, we'll see. You know, I try to be really, really mindful um, of my daughters-in-law or my daughter-in-law and my daughter, whether they want the kids' faces on Facebook. You know, I, some, sometimes um, people want to err on the side of caution with social media and young children, and I totally understand that. So, um, so Lisa, thank you. I'm glad you like my cards. I will see you, Lisa, on Saturday for Saturday Card Class. And in the meantime, stay warm, take care. Thank you so much for tuning in, and God bless.